Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some RuneScape, shall we? Alright, well, I gotta say, I'm here, I'm at the farm, and I'm just gonna check into my animals before I get too wild with things. A Pisca Cat, good evening, my friend. I always gotta make sure that the ace animals are well provided for and see how I can boost up my farming if possible. Nick man, good morning. Yes, I'm just checking on my dragons, mucking out some dragon excrement, seeing how things go. Working on that farming. <laughs> Sir Theodore, good evening, good to see you. Kuro, good evening, my friend, good to see you. No, Sir Theodore, Pisky Cat got you again. He's on a roll. Alright. And as you guys can see, um, my farming is, you know, we're, we're approaching 96. Like, we're getting, we're getting closer. It's, it's working on it. Absolutely, Nick Man. So we're going to go back to the timeline. That's Nick Man's asking what our quest is. As soon as I finish tending to my animals, the plan, everybody, for tonight um, is Shiloh Village. So Shiloh Village appears to be the next quest in the line, and we'll need to talk to Mosul Ray at the edge of Shiloh Village. Um, and we'll get there in just a moment. Let me just give these fine spiders some some grub. Big boned and sparkling. That's how we like them. They're all big boned and sparkling here. <laughs> awesome, Nick Man. I love that. What he, amazing swings here. You know, I have to say that personally. I even enjoy um, doing the ones that are regarded as the bottom tier quests um, just because it's fun to just kind of see those legendary quests that really stand out, no matter if they're great or bad, just to feel a part of the RuneScape community, to, to know that I've gone through what everyone else has gone through. Oh, that's right, Sir Theodore. I should have done that. Episcocat is saying wait for Shiloh Village until they update Karamja. Um, are, when are they going to update Karamja, if you don't mind me asking? No, we want to put woad leaves in here. Okay, okay, well then, if it's, uh, if it's gonna be a graphical update that's kind of interesting. Oh, my inventory is indeed full. Alright, here, let me just eat that so I can get this animal out of here, I don't want to forget. Then maybe we just skip ahead to the next one on the list. Um, oh, it might take a long time. Because, um... Oh, some other player must have just dropped that. Or I did. I'm not sure. Uh, let me just give this some beef. And, alright. So you guys are saying get buckets. I do have some stuff in there. Let me fill this trough. Alright. And let me put my food away then. Everything's topped off. Alright. Okay, well, interesting, interesting. Put away all this stuff. I just have a red dragon in my bag. That's kind of intimidating, all right? And let me say, I think I have everything I need here. Then I don't mind just bumping it. 
skipping it and just seeing what happens. If, if it's not a big deal, we can always save it for later. Uh, let's see. Do we have... Oh, no, that's right. We were going to get buckets. Wow, he's going to eat his hat. Well, I think it's worth it just to see if Pisca Cat will be eating a hat or not. Um... <laughs> there we go. Got some buckets. The loophole is that you don't have a hat. Oh, we'll send you a hat, a pisky cat. As well as eating instructions. Sir Theodore is optimistic. I love a little optimism. Alright, so let's see. Will I put it in... I have dragon manure. It is in a bucket. I think the only thing more unbelievable than the fact that I'm mucking out dragon poop is that I'm putting it in a bucket to save it for later. Um, underground Pass is the next qu uh, quest if I skip it. Let me look at that. Also, let me put some compost in here. You can't give your poop to the leprechaun? If, if it's open, can you add, or do you, does it, um... Okay. Alright, I put them both in there. And then, do I want to close it? Or does it have to fill up first? For some reason, I, I, I remember some kind of, like, you had to close it kind of process, but maybe I'm not remembering that correctly. All right, there we go. Okay. Time to go. Grand exchange. No need to close it anymore? Oh, okay, cool. Well, thank you. Hey, hey, Amy, good evening. I did. I was going to read that on, um, I started looking at this, and I want to talk to you guys about it in one moment. Let me just sell these chompas. And just sell this. Fair enough. All right, let me just pluck these in there, and I will quickly... Sorry, this is taking more more farming than I thought. All right, all part of the process, though. Okay. Cool. All right, so. I'm gonna read this. So I got this letter. Um, some messenger came up as soon as I logged in this evening to give me this letter. It says, Dear Dr. Incompetent, Alas, I regret to inform you of a dire situation which I know you have worked hard to prevent. My name is Idria. I'm a leader of sorts of the Guardians of Armadil. I realize that you made a supreme effort in preventing Lucian from gaining the staff of Armadil. I did. 
please accept my gratitude for your efforts in this endeavor. However, it seems that the resourceful Lucian has found another route to our beloved treasure. We believe a certain treasure hunter by the name of Morvario had something to do with this, but of course there is no proof. For my own part, I wish you well and advise you be on your guard against Lucian's machinations. Yours most respectfully, Idria. Oh, okay. I, do I remember what um, Zimorgel said last time about um, trying to come back and defeat the uh, Shield of Arav, you mean? Crab, good evening. Good to see you. I do remember those guys. The two um, Myarchy dudes, the Lich guys. Was that the item that you were talking about, um, Amy, that letter? So Lucian got this, this staff anyway. <laughs> hey, hey, Tack, good evening. New video for Factorio coming out tomorrow, Tack. Loving that game, Tack. That's right, he said his cousin Lucian was gaining power and that he should seek an alliance, but didn't he say something about how he didn't care for Lucian's, like, ego or something to that effect? Um, but anyway... Let's then bounce over to Underground Pass and set this as active. Oh my gosh, look at this sinister dude. So we need to um, talk to King Lathus in Ardoin Castle. Yep, Ceramic is here. Okay, so then it is time to head home we're already in Ardoin I haven't been to Ardoin Castle in a while yes I do remember that I remember doing that and I remember that the, there is no plague that's right Nick man okay cool it helped to take those notes, I'm going to say very honestly. In the following quest, I helped Elena and her old mentor Guidor test a plague sample to discover a cure with surprising results. Okay. That's right. I did go to the king about this, I remember. Oh boy. Open that door. Here we go. All right. Let's get in there. All right. And let's see. Okay. A pisky cat is telling me before I begin. There's the king. Okay. Yes, please, a refresher. What did he tell me? Ah, okay, so he's protecting his people. Wow, okay, so Episcocat is refreshing me on the, the story of this quest, and you can see that in the uh, the chat here. Thank you so much, Episcocat, for doing it. I remember getting to training area. Um, oh my gosh, so King Tyrus was his brother, and he went west, and he drank from the Chalice of Eternity... The Chalice of Eternity, that didn't have anything to do with that castle that I went to in, like, a dream world. Uh, 
where I had to make it to the top floor. Uh, that might have been Excalibur. That might have been something else entirely. Anyway, disregard that. Okay, so I need to figure out what the next step is between the Dark Lord and his brother. That was the Holy Grail. Oh, just the Holy Grail. That's right. Angel, good evening. Good to see you. Hello, King Lathus. That's right. Just, just, a, just a Holy Grail. Adventurer, thanks Sarah Doman for your arrival. By the way, I love that the king has these treasure chests in his bedroom. Now, this is a kingly bedroom. This puts the Duke of Lumbridge's bedroom to shame. These potted floral arrangements he's got in either corner, the symmetrical end uh, tables, the grandfather clock, the treasure chests... Fantastic stuff, King Lathus. <laughs> I know. Attack, it's an amazing beard. Sir Theodore, I had already forgotten. You sometimes come here to ransack the safes? That's hilarious. Have your scouts found a way through the mountains? <laughs> Not quite. We found a path to where we expected to find the Well of Voyage... An ancient portal to the Western Mainland. Oh my, the Western Mainland. However, during recent times, a cluster of cultists have settled there, run by a mad name, Madden, uh, named Iban. Now, let me just actually ask you guys this. Um, the West that they refer to here, is that something that's like off of the world map proper that I can't see on the map? that we only speculate about, or is it visible on the map? And then the next question is, is it similar to um, the East? Like how we met some traders from the East, but we can't really ever go there? You can see it on the map? Okay. Because I remember maybe it was in um, Fremenic area, uh, Relica or whatever, that we met some like traders from the East. Okay. Um, I accept your quest. Iban, a crazy loon who claims to be the son of Zamorak. Uh-oh. Zamorak's son? We've got to stop this. Go meet my main tracker. Koftik. He will help you. He waits for you at the west side of West Ardoin. We must find a way through these caverns if we are to stop my brother, Tyrus. I'll do my best, Lathus. A warning, Traveler. The Underground Pass is lethal. We lost many men exploring those caverns. Go prepared with food and armor or you won't last long. Okay. Uh, what was that? Some kind of animation just happened all over my head. Um, I can see it on the map. Oh, okay, Morbid Fell, good evening, thank you. Um, let me look on the map. The West. Is this it right here, the Lost Grove? I guess it would kind of have to be, right? <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so let's then make sure we get plenty of food, as the man says. Iban claims to be the son. Okay, cool. Well, now my interest is piqued. Wow, okay, that is a good reminder. Thank you, Amy. So Amy is saying this was originally meant to be the original main story and was one of the final quests released in RuneScape 1 before 2 came out. So... In terms of refreshing me on that, is old school RuneScape, RuneScape 1 or 2, or both of them? And so I'm assuming this quest was, was in old school and was the final, like one of the final quests, or I'm not sure. Okay. Let's go to the west. Mm, wait, no, I need to go to the bank. Let me hit the bank.
Oh, I guess there's a bank right there. All right, there we go. We're going to go to the bank. I need to get food. <laughs> wow, Sir Theodore, that's a surprising answer. Okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah, Tack, I'm with you, my friend. The Tyrus has got to go down. All right, so I'm going to get some more food. All right, here we go. We got food. We're loaded up. We're going west. Get a bow and some arrows. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Well, I wonder if this is... You don't want my inventory full? Oh, okay. I was just taking his advice. He was like, you need all this food. All right, thank you. Okay, let's not then fill it up. Gonna need to carry some stuff? All right. Let me then... Uh, in terms of bow... I got this U short bow. I got... Um, a black crossbow. Offhand rune crossbow. Rune crossbow. Two-handed, maple, charge bow, crossbow. How the, how the crossbow's doing? Any bow? Okay. Non-charge bow. Okay, so I'll take a rune crossbow. And then... They aren't bows. Okay. It says bow in it. I'm just telling you. All right, I'll bring my... <laughs> My U short bow. How's that? Okay. Um, Aren, good evening. Rope is required. Okay. Can I summon Didymus? He has some rope. But I'll take a rope. Sure. Since I'll have to backtrack ten times, get every item from the quest summary. Okay, good idea. Let's just do that. Let's do, let's take the good advice. So let's check the overview, and they want me to bring a bow, arrows, and at least two ropes. Okay, so I have one rope, and Didymus has another rope. A plank can also be useful, okay. Got a plank. All right, how are we looking? I got about 10 food. I have a U short bow, I have a rope, and then I have a Didymus, and then I have a plank. Not bad. That's when I... You know what, Tack? I'm going to try, man. I'm going to try to just hit him right in the face with that plank. Never fails. The surgical 2 by 4 I won't need the passage of the abyss, but I can't not carry it. <laughs> That's hilarious, Amy. I can't wait. Let's get frustrated, people. All right, let me put my Passage of the Abyss back then. And let's roll. I bet they have a general store here. They do. I know they have a general store. Let me see if they sell some rope for me. Oh, you know what I need? Oh, somebody must have used a p prayer thing on me to get my prayer points back. Should, should you pray, like, melee to get through? Anyway, we'll figure it out. Hey, hey, Exceptional. Good evening, my friend. I am playing on member, um, but I, st I played for about three or four months free to play. You can do most of the beginning of the game, um, Exceptional, free to see if you like it. Oh, interesting, Nick Man. Okay, cool. All right, we got the ropes. We got arrows. We're good. Let's roll. So, uh, exception out. Also, you can earn money in the game to buy membership. So, you don't actually have to spend money. It takes some leveling up to get to that point, but you can. 
I also got really lucky and found an item that I sold for membership for years to come. Oh, look at that. So Theodore's here. Hey, Big Jordo. Good evening, my friend. We are doing Underground Pass. Ah, an aggression potion. Interesting. Thank you. I haven't seen that one before, Sir Theodore. All right, here we go. I'm going in, people. I got to meet the tracker. There's the man. There's the recruiter. Jethic. All right, where is this dude? A cave entrance in far west. Okay. Oh, thank you, Big Jordo. I, ap I appreciate that. Yeah, I got lucky. I, I got a third age die. And I sold it for billions. Big Jordo, it was amazing. Oh my gosh, the cave is the scariest thing I've ever seen. No, Tack, don't talk to him. Look at the cave right there, everybody. You can see it at the top of the screen. It looks like a screaming maw of, like, a demon of some kind. Oh my. Yeah, this is one of the caves where if I saw this, I'd never go into it. Um, but that's what separates me from the adventurer. I, it is a, a, a mouth. It's like a, it almost looks like a, an ogre or something with horns. But as if, um, Yeah, Big Jordo, I have a short for it, and it's in one of the video, uh, episodes as well in the Let's Play series. My reaction was pretty funny because I really didn't know what I had gotten at first, and I misread how much it was worth. And then e everybody else's re reaction was what really clued me into the fact that it was something special. So if you saw a cave like this, right, that looked like the mouth of a demon with teeth and everything that would be off-putting enough but then to see that it's flanked by two human skulls that are on fire i mean it's ridiculous at this point these actually looks like ribs you know these uh these bones coming into it, it it's unreal let me see this guy the cave guide. All right, cave guide. Hello, are you the king's scout? <laughs> that I am, brave adventurer. King Lathus informed me that you need a, to cross these mountains. Yeah, that's right, Tack. It's just a, it's just a BBQ. N nothing to miss here. I do need to cross the mountains. I'm afraid you'll have to go through the ancient underground pass. That's okay. I've traveled through many a cave in my time. These caves are different. They're filled with the spirit of Zamorak. You can feel it as you wind your way round the stalagmites. An icy chill that penetrates the very fabric of your being. I'm not 